The governor is pressing New Mexico lawmakers to legalize recreational pot, and tonight Democrats voted to take another big step toward doing that. News 13's Chris McKee has more on their vote today. Chris? Yeah, just on party lines with no Republican support, Senate Democrats passed the massive recreational cannabis bill through a key Senate Public Affairs Committee this evening. I think we can identify here today those issues that truly drive violent crime and truly drive our public safety issues. Cannabis is not among them, not chief among them at least. I don't see that this is, is protecting our children in that way and, and that concerns me. Now, Senate Bill 115 would create and regulate recreational sale of marijuana in the state to people 21 and over. Money generated from taxing the sale of marijuana would go toward law enforcement training and equipment and drug treatment programs. Even with today's vote, the bill still has several Senate committees to go through before it goes up for a full Senate vote, then over to the House for even more votes. Democrats argue that the law is rigorous and will keep marijuana from getting into underage hands, but Republicans raised concern today about allowing the sale of marijuana gummies, saying they've proven dangerous to kids in Colorado. They also worry about what they say are weak penalties for people caught growing marijuana for themselves without a license. You know, as long as you don't have over six plants, eh, you're going to get a little slap on the wrist, maybe a $50 fine. Well, what law enforcement agency is going to give a rip and do anything about it when it's a $50 fine? The requirements in this bill to protect children from accessing cannabis are stricter, with all due respect, than the restrictions in this state on children being able to get a firearm at the age of 18. The bill heads to the Senate Judiciary Committee next, and that will likely happen sometime next week. Jessica. Thank you, Chris. Meanwhile, opponents of legalization gathered outside the roundhouse to express their concerns. The group included law enforcement and public safety advocates, as well as business leaders. As businesses, we see in this legislation one way or another the infringement of an employer's right to a safe and drug-free workplace. Right now, we don't have sufficient law. We don't have a level of impairment for marijuana. We don't have a test that's validated, that's, that's accepted by the courts. And that's going to be a huge issue for New Mexico law enforcement. San Juan County Sheriff Shane Ferrari expressed concern the law would threaten to reverse the gains the state has made in curbing the DWI problem.